So today we're here in Unreal Engine 5.3 and what I want to do is import a point cloud into the engine and the very first thing that we need to do is we need to go to edit and editor oh, sorry plugins and we want to do a little search for lidar and what we're looking for is the lidar point cloud support plugin and I've already checked it, uh, it's loaded. If it's not already loaded for you, you'll have to check this box here and you'll probably have to restart when prompted. Uh, we've already taken care of that. Uh, so now I'm ready to import uh, a point cloud. Uh, and I've, there's a number of formats that Unreal does support. Uh, I have got a .pts file. I'm just going to take that from a, a window on my other monitor and I'm just going to drag and drop it into the content browser like so. And as soon as I do that, I get import options. Uh, and this is really the uh, nice thing about the Unreal Engine. Uh, this uh, dialog actually allows me to remap anything that's in the, in the point cloud file. So if I look at this uh, location X, we can see that it's got a little blue uh, box around the, the number that it's actually referencing in the file. So all these numbers here are the, it's like the first line of the .pts file. Uh, and what I've actually done with this pts file is because I do not have any color information in the original file, I only have an intensity value. And the intensity value is actually 82. And what I've done is I've uh, turned the intensity to, to none and then pointed the red, green and blue values to the intensity value of 82. So, so you can see here, red is referencing 82, green is referencing 82, and blue is referencing 82. So I've basically got a grayscale point cloud now from the intensity value. And all I have to do at this point to get my point cloud in is just click here, import all. Uh, it imports that, and then I can drag it from the content browser into my viewport like so. And we can see here, although I don't have RGB information on my point cloud, I do actually have now the intensity, which is which is visible. <clears throat> uh, if I click on my point cloud, and then I can see in the outliner uh, the point cloud and its settings, and from here we can we can change a bunch of visibility options, uh, adjust the color. Um, up a bit, you can adjust the appearance, the point size. Uh, we can adjust the scaling method, so we could uh, make it a fixed screen size, and obviously that means all the points will be exactly the same size on the screen like that. If you wish to do something like that, I think the, the per node or per node adaptive is kind of fine. Uh, in fact, it's better. The shape. Uh, you can even turn on things like shadows down here, cast shadows, and so on. And another thing that's very handy to be able to do is, is to be able to, uh, if I right click on the point cloud uh, in the content browser like so, and I go to asset actions, I can export a point cloud. Uh, and we can choose a range of formats from LAZ, LAS, .pts, and a few others.